Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. And as you know, I talk on a variety of subjects. So please subscribe if you like the channel, share and like. Um, I've been talking quite a bit about immigration recently. And you'll know that from previous videos, I've mentioned about the when you're going abroad. And especially if you're coming from Jamaica. You know, the border people, whether you're legitimate or not, they're withholding passports and they're withholding green cards. And it seems like people think that this is a big joke. They think that we're exaggerating. They really do. SoFlo is talking for America. I talk mostly for the people in the UK. But regardless of where you are, if you're traveling from Jamaica, it's very, very likely that they're going to withhold your, even if you're legitimate, you know. So anyway, let me just show you this quick video I received this morning, just so you can see what I'm talking about. I have a green card right now, I come from the Caribbean, I come from Jamaica, I fly down to Jamaica and I have a green card. Them are take them off for the freaking flight and I cancel them green card. So me even bridging just let me know because when I film down them they up on the plane and them stop 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 them and cancel them shit them take them and bring them to a room and send them back to Jamaica. So I want your friend them. See me it's not just the Muslim people them. So I want your friend them. Cool? Immigration lawyer. Opa Lee is encouraging Jamaican green card holders in the United States to put plans to travel outside the United States on hold. This following the signing of an executive order by the Trump administration on Friday which has suspended the immigration of nationals from seven Muslim-majority countries. The seven countries are Libya, Iran, Iraq, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. She says green card holders in the Caribbean are concerned about the immigration ban. Miss Lee is also advising green card holders returning to the U.S. to be vigilant. She's advising them not to sign to any document stating they're giving up their green card. Over the weekend, several persons traveling to the U.S. were detained on arrival, even if they held valid U.S. visas or other immigration permits. The Trump administration says it will not lift the ban despite court rulings and mass protests against it. Man, them turn back a bunch of people that were coming from here. Leroy come in from a flight nine night yesterday. I'm gonna say a bunch of people get picked out of the line, dog, and then green care take from them, dog. Man, them direct them back. You see me? Go into my room. You see me? So, we don't really know why certain people have been picked out and some people haven't. We don't know if when they're leaving the country they have a criminal record or there is something wrong with their status because it, it doesn't seem as though they're doing a blanket um, prevention of people. They're not confiscating everybody that's coming off of the plane or anybody who's coming from Jamaica. They're not stopping everyone. There's a few of them that they're taking off and they are deporting them back to Jamaica. So you have to ask yourself, why is that? Is there something in that person's history that warrants them picking out those few people? Now, if you do have anything wrong with your history, if there's anything that is not kosher with your history in either the UK or the US, and you're not planning, planning to return to Jamaica, you better stay put. Because this is no joke. I think people are so used to kind of getting by and, you know, hustling through and skinning up their tea or, you know, smiling with people. And they think that they think that nothing's changed and they don't realize that this is serious business. So all I'm saying is you could have your green card, right? But how did you get your green card? Did you get it through marriage? Has the marriage dissolved? If it has, you're not entitled to that green card. And that might be a reason why they've sent you back to Jamaica. 
You could have got your green card through some other means. I don't know what the other means are. Some people come over as students. Some people come over as carers. Some people come over as different, um, under different um, reasons. But whatever the reason, is that reason still valid now? If it's not valid now, you better keep your butt in place and not go anywhere if you don't intend to stay in the country that you're visiting. If you're planning to go to Jamaica, no, it's not just the Muslim countries. They've thrown Jamaica in there because as far as they're concerned, Jamaica is a threat. They don't want Jamaicans in the country because Jamaicans are too mouthy mouthy. And they're very, they, they don't do as they're told. They're not compliant. So they don't like Jamaicans. And if they can stop them from coming in whichever way, they're going to do it. So if you are going to travel outside of the country and you are a Jamaican, you know, you're going to have to conform or, you know, behave yourself. It's, you cannot now take a risk and leave the country if you haven't got a history that is squeaky clean. I don't know how many people have a squeaky clean history, but if you're a foreign national, it's even more important that your um, status is correct and upright. You might have a green card, but the status that upon which you got that green card might have expired. That's the only thing I can think of. If they were taking everybody off of the flight, all people from Jamaica, if they were taking them all off of the flight and sending them back, then you could say, OK, they're discriminating against the whole of Jamaica. Like here in the UK, they're, they're revoking, they're, they're not, they're rejecting applications from Africans. Even though we're supposed to be a global Britain, they're rejecting applications from Africans. And it's spoiling relations, actually. But, you know, with this thing with um, Jamaica and the US, you have to really make sure that you are on point. Present yourself well and, you know, depending on what you want, what do you want? Do you want to stay in America? If you want to stay in America, you have to stop all this bad man chatting and, and all that kind of stuff. And dog and all them thing there. Because it's, it's going to put you in a certain light. It's going to put you in a certain category. Like I said, it all depends what you want. Times have changed. Systems have changed. It's not the same. So if you're traveling, you better make sure that you're traveling with not only your papers, but with a clean history. Otherwise, they're not going to allow you to come back. That's all I've got to say on the subject. Bye-bye.